attending the second virtual COVID-19 summit jointly hosted by the U.S., Belize, Germany, Indonesia and Senegal. South Korean President Yoon suk yeol said the country will provide more financial resources for the global pandemic partnership. He also stressed that Seoul will continue to fulfill its duties in the international community to end the pandemic. Our Kim yo sun has this story. South Korean President Yoon sung yeol pledged more support for the international community to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. The pledge was made in a pre-recorded video message addressing the second global COVID-19 summit held virtually on Thursday. Act A, 3억 불의 재원을 추가로 기여할 것입니다. 시급히 백신이 필요한 국가들에게 충분한 공급과 안전하고 빠른 접종을 지원하겠습니다. The additional support comes on top of the 210 million US dollars of cash and goods provided by Seoul to the Access to COVID-19 Tools Accelerator or Act A, an initiative launched by the WHO and global partners to provide COVID-19 vaccines, treatment and test kits. Yoon further emphasized that South Korea will continue to fulfill its responsibility and role within the international community and support its efforts to end the pandemic. Underscoring the fact that no one country can end the pandemic alone, he also endorsed the establishment of a financial intermediary fund so that the global community can swiftly mobilize financial resources to effectively tackle health crises going forward. Attending the summit, U.S. President Joe Biden appealed to world leaders for a renewed international commitment to fighting COVID-19. He called on the U.S. Congress to provide additional funds so that Washington can contribute more to the global COVID-19 response. Today I'm announcing the United States will share critical COVID-19 technologies through the World Health Organization COVID-19 Technology Access Pool. We're making available health technologies that are owned by the United States government, including stabilized spike protein that is used in many COVID-19 vaccines. The White House explained that the summit has gathered over $3 billion in new funding to fight the pandemic, including over $2 billion in immediate response, as well as more than $960 million in commitment to the World Bank Pandemic Preparedness Fund. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.